Hi, I'm Jonathan Garrigue, a program manager on the Windows Store team, and today I'm going to show you how to configure package flighting so that you can send different packages to different groups of people, which allows you to do testing of updates with a small audience before you send those updates to a larger audience. It's one of our really important for testing and production tools that's available for all Windows Store apps and games. So I'm going to start with my publishing demo app. It's already in the store. I have some submissions in process. But what I want to do is I'd like to take my newest packages, the latest build, and I'd like to deliver that to my test team before it's delivered to everyone who owns my app. And that way my test team can validate this and uh, make sure that the, there aren't any bugs that we missed in our uh, offline testing. And they can do this through the store. It'll just get delivered as an update. So I'm going to show you a flight that's already been configured. So this is my flight to test team, and you'll notice that it has a submission uh, just like I did to get the app in the store, except the submission really only has packages in it because these are package flights. So you can do a package flight as soon as you have a submission in the store uh, because a flight really is delivering an alternate package. Instead of getting the package that everyone else gets, you get a special package which usually is an updated version that you're going to test on a small audience. So I can drop new packages in. Uh, this is an already published submission, so it's read-only. But you'll see that I'm sending the 1.0.1 version package to my test team. Let me show you a process of adding a new flight so that if I wanted to, let's say, flight to my colleagues, I could create a new flight. First thing I'm going to do is create a name. So I'm going to call this my colleague flight. And then I'm going to select the groups of people who are going to get uh, this package flight delivered to them. So I already have a flight for my test team. Uh, so this will be my colleague's flight. And I get to rank the two of these. Now the normal pattern is my testers are going to get the latest. My colleagues are going to get something that is uh, maybe a little more stable than the build that I send to my testers. So I'm actually going to rank my colleague flight 2, and rank is done with highest first. So if you're in my test team, you'll get today's build, the thing that is least stable. If you're my colleagues, maybe I'll give you the best build of the week, and if then if you're one of my customers, uh, they're going to get the most stable build that I can possibly give them. So I'll create this flight. Now that the flight is created, I'm looking at the flight submission. And I can go to the packages. This is specific for this flight. I can drop an updated package in, or I can do something like import a package from another flight. So remember, my testers are getting my sort of latest and greatest, most unstable build. But what I can do is I can actually say, great, it's been in the flight to testers for a while. I'm going to pull this package from the flight to testers and put it in the flight to colleagues. So I might take the best build of the week that's currently sitting in my test flight and say, I'd like to promote that to my flight that goes to all my colleagues. Now that flight uh, is in my colleague flight. I can save this page, uh, and then I can publish this flight to my colleagues. I don't have to change any of the flight options unless maybe it's a Friday and I'd rather not have this flight go out until Monday. Uh, I submit this flight to the store, and then the next time my colleagues' uh, PCs check for updates, they're going to get this build instead of uh, the build that everyone else gets. So that was a quick look at how to configure package flights for your app or game in the Windows Store. I hope that was useful for you. You can find more information at the link below, and thanks for your attention.